let's now solve a few numerical problems based on the concepts which we have learnt in the first three parts of current electricity that is the three videos which you must have watched current electricity one two and part three question number one how will the resistance and resistivity of a wire change if its length is increased diameter is reduced justify the answer in each case we have the relation r is equal to rho l over a which gives us the factors on which the resistance depends resistance as we have studied is proportional to length and inversely proportional to area it also depends on the nature of the material of the conductor that is resistivity rho so we can use this relation to answer this question as length is increased resistance will increase so this that's the answer to first part of the problem as l increases r also increases second part is reducing the diameter the reduction in diameter results in reduction in radius so reducing diameter reduces area of cross section because area of cross section is given by pi r square a reduction in area will mean an increase in the resistance hence the resistance increases there is however no change in resistivity because the resistivity is independent of shape and size so whether the length is increased or decreased the diameter is increased or reduced the resistivity of the wire will remain unchanged because it's a function of the nature of the material and not of shape and size question 2 calculate the electrical resistivity of the material of a wire of length 3 meter area cross section 0.02 meter square having a resistance of 2 ohms what will be its conductivity discuss the effect of increase in temperature of a metallic conductor on resistivity of its material here you are given length to be 3 meters area of cross section is 0.02 mm square note that this area is not in si units so we'll convert it and express it in si system before we proceed further 1 mm square is 10 to the power minus 6 meter square that gives you the area as 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 meter square the resistance of the wire is given to be 2 ohms using the relation r is equal to rho l by a we get rho equal to r a by l simple substitution of the values will lead you to this value of the resistivity as 4 over 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter the conductivity of a material is reciprocal of its, its resistivity so sigma is 1 over rho equal to 1 over 4 by 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 equal to 7.5 into 10 to the power 7 ohm inverse meter inverse for the last part that is effect of increase in temperature on resistivity of a metallic conductor we use the relation r is equal to ml over e square n a tau compare this relation with r is equal to rho l by a you get expression for rho as m over e square n tau look at the right hand side of the expression the mass and the charge on an electron these are constant quantities 
the number of free electrons per unit volume also depends on nature of the material which is a fixed number the factor affecting rho is tau the relaxation time or the average time between two collisions of the free electrons as temperature increases the random motion of the electrons increases they move faster collide more frequently resulting in a decrease in tau hence the resistivity will show an increase question number 3 a metallic wire is uniformly stretched to n times its original length show that the resistance of the wire becomes n square its original resistance as the wire is stretched the volume of the metal remains unaffected so if we assume that originally the wire had a length l and area a we'll get r is equal to rho l by a equating the volume of the stretched wire with that of the original wire we get a dash into l dash equal to a into l where a dash is area of stretched wire l dash is length of the stretched wire this implies a dash into nl because l dash is n times the original length equal to a into l or a dash equal to a by n the resistance of a stretched wire will therefore be r dash equal to rho l dash over a dash or rho nl upon area a by n the new values that you have calculated equal to n square rho l by a this rho l by a is resistance of the original wire so the resistance becomes n square times the original resistance question number 4 a manganese wire has a resistance of 20 ohm what will be the resistance of the wire of same material if its length is half and radius 1/4 that of the given wire suppose l is length of the given wire and a is area of cross section r the radius of the given wire So we have r is equal to rho l by a equal to 20 ohms where area is pi r square for the new wire we have length l dash equal to l by 2 area a dash is pi r dash square equal to pi r by 4 because the radius is reduced to 1/4 so a dash comes out to be 1 by 16 pi r square or 1 by 16 a therefore resistance of the new wire r dash will be rho l dash by a dash substituting for l dash and a dash you get rho l by 2 over a by 16 or 16 by 2 rho l by a rho l by a is given to be 20 ohms so the resistance of the new wire will become 160 ohm question number 5 a potential difference v is applied to a conductor of length l diameter d how are the electric field the drift speed and the resistance r affected when v is doubled l is doubled d is doubled in order to discuss the effect we need expressions for the electric field which is v by l the drift speed which is e capital e by m tau e here the electric field is replaced by v by l and resistance r is rho l by a 
area we can write in terms of diameter pi d by 2 whole square or the resistance will be 4 rho L over pi d square. Now let's take the three cases one by one. First case V is doubled. When V is doubled E according to the relation will also be doubled. The drift speed will again be doubled whereas R the resistance is not affected by the change in potential difference. This we know from our knowledge in Ohm's law, V over I that is R remains unchanged for various values of the potential difference and current. Coming to second part, when L is doubled, E will become half, VD will also become half and R will be doubled because resistance is directly proportional to length. On doubling the diameter, the electric field intensity remains unchanged. The drift speed also remains unchanged, whereas R becomes one fourth. Double diameter means area is one fourth, therefore the resistance becomes one fourth.